Tuko apa and so. Good morning. First things first, we're off to get LPG gas to fill up the car. We use Fuel Maps app and it will tell you which petrol station will have whatever you want, diesel, whatever petrol you want. And it should also tell you roughly how much it's going to be. We found one that's really cheap today, it's 89 cents per litre of gas. So we head in there. Fuel done. Now we're going to head to our next campsite. It is about an hour and a half away, but it's just getting us closer to Melbourne really. There's a beach there and we're just going to chill on the beach. This is why I love driving. I've just pulled off of the road. Jordan has no idea why. Can you guess? Do you want the toilet? No. <laughs> want some food? Yeah! He's hungry. <laughs> Lunch done, time to hit the road again. First, put your rubbish in the bin. on the South Gippsland Highway, I believe, and honestly this road is so straight and so long and there's just no one. So we've just been cruising and cruising and cruising in a straight line for many many kilometres now and uh, it's very odd, very odd. It's quite cool though. So our campsite is like 20 meters away from 90 Mile Beach, which is where we are now. The beach is that long, which is crazy when you consider how far that is. We've not really done a lot in today's vlog, so we're going to show you a little bit of our nightly routine. Starting with heading upstairs. <laughs> so, obviously you've got to be careful about your shoes and all this. We've got the perfect little spot for our shoes. So we can just take them off. And we just slide them into there and they stay there all night until we're ready to come back out in the morning. One of the most important things to do because we are outdoors all the time is to check for spoods. So every night before bed we have a little check. Just open the door <laughs> and I'll see you inside.
So it's nice and cozy in it. We've got our duvet, we've got our pillows, everything's nice and cool. We've got a nice bright light. And we'll just have a look under the pillows. Have a look under there. Make sure there's nothing nasty in the duvet because this stuff does stay up here all the time so at any point something could crawl in we have had a speed up here before we've had a huntsman in here and we've had a couple of other little smaller spiders but nothing that's really bothered us they just we'd rather go to sleep knowing that they're not in here it's super cozy inside of here and to make it even cosier when we're sat here watching a movie or whatever in the evening we've got these cool little lights that light up and just create a lovely little atmosphere in here it's nice and cosy and relax what are we watching on TV tonight? we don't have any signal at the moment but I have downloaded some things on Netflix so when I've got no signal, we can still watch stuff. And I've downloaded the rest of Trailer Park Boys. So we've got about two series left of that. So we're going to watch that tonight. Yeah! <laughs> it's hilarious. If you haven't seen it, check it out. <laughs> Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. I don't know how, but we've got a bat in the tent. <laughs> managed to get him outside and he's just in the corner. How the hell did it bite? I have no idea, but it's so cute. There's no hope. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing, he's very lost. Huh? I was woken up to scratch him. And um, I don't know, I thought it was going to be a snake or something in the tent. That's not what I expected at all. I'm kind of glad it was a bat rather than anything else. But um, yeah, I woke up straight away and saw it flying around, which is pretty scary. But Jason had been hearing it for ages. So I woke up about an hour ago at least. And I've been thinking that it's been really windy outside <laughs> and that something on the tent had just come loose and was flapping around. So that's probably been in our tent for about an hour. <laughs> probably longer. But it's tiny. Just don't understand how it got in. I can still hear him scratching around on the tent outside. He's just in the little... It's in our porch. Yeah, so we're going to try and help him out the porch now. <laughs> what a random experience. <laughs> it was really cute. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. I'm glad it wasn't one of the big ones. Oh my god, yeah, they are big out here. <laughs> How well did you sleep last night? It was alright until the bat got in my tent. Um, I tried to go back to sleep and then there was frogs making loads of noises. That is all very true. <laughs> Jason wants to do a 3km run this morning. He's trying to get fit. I didn't want to do that. So I'm going to drive three kilometers and he's going to meet me there by running to me. It is absolutely baking today. Oh, but I'll see you there. See you in a minute. Love you. I'm meeting Jason there. I'm just going to sit in the car and wait for Jason to come running. <laughs> Hard. Look. Well done. Well, it was real. I mean, it was real. 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 It
I've been wanting to do that for ages, so I'm so glad I finally did it. I did have to walk for maybe like five minutes, but I did finish it, which was good. Now I'm really hot and really sweaty. We really need to get a shower. So there's a public pool about 30 kilometers away and you might have to pay, it might be free. We're gonna ask and try our luck and see what they say. But they have hot showers there and uh, that'll be quite nice. Although I could quite easily do a cold one right now. <laughs> This <laughs> road is really bumpy. Jason's phone just fell out of the holder because it was bent to the made it to the town of Yaram. Yaram? I don't know. Looks like quite a cool town actually. Lots of stuff, some bakeries and uh, lots of shops. So the pool would have let us have showers but they said they've got like a school about to go in there. So the locals gave us another place to go with hot showers that are free. Hopefully we can find the hot showers and have one. And it's free. That shower was absolutely awesome. Uh, probably the best free shower I've ever had. And we've stopped off, ate some food, and we're just on our way to the first thing of the day that we're going to see. It's a bit of a weird and wonderful random thing. Jason has no idea what it is. It's called the Tura Dog Tree. Very random, but something to see. I'm assuming it's a tree that looks like a dog. Who knows? hundred and ninety kilometers to Melbourne. Woo! We've got here and it is in private property so We'll show you, but we can't go and touch it. <laughs> that is a lot more impressive than what I was imagining when Jordan told me we were going to Dog Tree. So, <laughs> it looks pretty amazing, actually. There are donations welcome, so we're giving them as much as we can, <laughs> which isn't a lot. We'll just give them some change. I'm guessing whoever owns this house has sculpted this from the tree. All of the donations go to the charity Starting Dog Rescue, so it's worth to come here, have a look and give them some money for the little dogs. Honestly, like, when you don't really know what's going on and you're just in it for the ride basically like me small little things that are just really cool and unique like that they're really awesome driving through these roads honestly the views you've got like rolling mountain hills on the right there's some sort of water on the left i don't know what it is it's a lake river or the ocean but yeah we're in tora and uh, the views are just incredible. We're actually going to a lookout now, so hopefully you'll get to see it from up there. Wow. This view is incredible. Sydney is 851 kilometers that way. That's where we've come from. <laughs> That's crazy. 
Then we've got Darwin, which we'll try and go to eventually, which is that way, and it's 3,676 kilometers. So it's like a little cute town. We're just pulling into the Tora bird hide and the views on the drive here have been amazing so I can't wait to see what it looks like when we actually get there. Good view out there. What can you see, baby? I don't know, they're so far away. Did you bring your binoc binoculars? <laughs> no. Is that what you're meant to do? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a cool view, though. We didn't stay there for too long because we're not bird watchers. So we're on to the next place now. And uh, where are we going, Jordy? We are going to Port Franklin viewing platform. I don't know what we're going to see, but I'm sure it'll be nice. I reckon we may see Port Franklin from there. It's just a guess. was a bit scary so Padge is an automatic and I've had to put him in his lower gear for the first time it was quite steep very gravelly and the wheels were a little bit slippy but we've made it Jordan bravely drove up to the top of Mount Nickel and we're gonna go to the lookout it's absolutely baking the hat is on and it should be about a 15 minute walk the views already are pretty spectacular. I'm gonna be walking up there but it's baking hot today and Jason's done a long run this morning so I don't think we're going to but the views from where I am now are pretty amazing so that's good enough for us We 
we have been chilling for the last couple of hours and it's time to head to our campground. We did need to pay because it's just going to help us out tomorrow. Um, tomorrow we'll be sort of rocking around Wilson's prom. So we've got a campground just on the edge of that for the night. Uh, it was $20 and it's about 23k away from Foster, which is the town that we've been chilling in for the last couple of hours. So uh, let's rock and roll. shady on our way in we had to check in with the owner <laughs> we didn't really want to film it but we had to follow him on his quad bike <laughs> around the campsite to our spot but all of this is ours it's quite big We've just had a walk down to the beach. It's literally like two minutes away from our campsite to see if we can see the sunset. We're a little bit late, but there's still a little bit of it left, but it looks so nice. Honestly, the colors are amazing. <laughs> 